Thank you so much. Hello. Hello, welcome to a brand new series of Winner Takes All, the brand new show with me, the brand new host, Bobby Davro, and of course, brand new prizes and brand new jokes. Woo! And of course, a brand new set. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it amazing what you can do with um, sticky black plastic and a bit of boco foil? <laughs> of course, the crew, because it was a new show, the crew threw a party to christen the set last night. They said, Bob's. Bring a bottle. So I did. Turned up with a bottle of Winderley. <laughs> and I have to say, since I arrived here, they've treated me like royalty. They're taking private photos of myself and keep taking all my phone calls. <laughs> well, let's start the ball rolling as we meet our first two contestants on the brand new show of Winner Takes All. Come on, let's go and meet them. <laughs> the first two contestants on the brand new show Winner Takes All. And to my left, we have a young man called Paul Wimble from Kent. It says here that you're married with three children and you are a karaoke presenter and it says you do a great pretty woman. <laughs> Try to. Yes, well, don't we all, eh? Try to be a fine thing. <laughs> and I believe you do, uh, that you love westerns, is that yes, right? I, Who's yes, your I favourite? Do. Clint Eastwood is my oh, favourite person. Like, what's your favourite film, Clint Eastwood film? For a few dollars more. For a few dollars more. Uh, make my day. I used to like when he did those Dirty Harry movies. Do you yeah. remember the Dirty oh, Harry? Yeah. You know why they called him Dirty Harry, don't you? No. Because he didn't change his underpants. <laughs> it was a Dirty Harry. <laughs> dirty cowboy. Right, it says here that you love food, is that right? Oh, yes, very much so. Any kind of food? Oh, uh, Italian particularly. Italiano, yeah, I love it, Italiano. It's pasta. It says here that you once tried snake. Yes, I did. Is that right? What was that in a snake and kidney pie? <laughs> <laughs> snake and kidney pie. <laughs> and it says here that uh, you'd love to lose weight. I would. Because you are quite a big lad, aren't you? Look at that. Just a bit, a little bit. If yes. he turns green, we'll all go home. <laughs> it's, uh, you want to you go on a diet or something, is that right? Yeah, yeah, but I need a lot of motivation. Yeah, we want to eat some more snake. Then you can just <laughs> shed your skin, can't you? <laughs> lose weight that way. Welcome to the show, Paul. That's Paul. Give him a Thank nice you. round of applause. And you're... And your competitor, your opponent today, is lovely Samantha. Samantha Olka, is that right? Olka. 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 Hey, all right, calm down, calm down. <laughs> and you're from Naughty Ash. Yep. Where the Diddy men come from. Tears for tax arrears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my job, this is... <laughs> and it says here that you play five-a-side football. Well, I did. I only had three games and I got injuries, oh, so what? I packed it in. What happened? Well, I got a groin strain. Oh, hey, nasty. nasty. And me cartilage went. Oh, a bit of a better gaza injury, that is, Yeah, so give it up. It says here that you play the five-a-side uh, mixed sex. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, did you score? <laughs> <laughs> did you score? <laughs> I'd right. all like to see you change shirts after the game, yeah. <laughs> and it says here that you're a big Mario fan. Is I that am. Mario Lanza? No, no, no. no. Oh, it's, it's smaller not... than him. Is it? <laughs> not the, uh, the... You like opera? I thought it said you liked mm. opera here, don't I, opera? No, no. I said to my missus the other day, I said, I've got two tickets for Pavarotti. Oh, she said, I'll be going for the week or the fortnight. <laughs> so this... <laughs> so this... This Mario, then he's that little, the little cartoon bloke. He is, yeah. Blue oh, and red. Right. Blue and red. And it says here that you've got actually a blow up Mario doll. I is have, that right? Yeah. Is that the one with the wheel hair? <laughs> <laughs> or is it the Bob Hoskins one? The one with no hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to talk. Hey. Well, being it's a brand new show, we've got a brand new question master, or in our case, a question mistress, or let's say a questioness. She is the bird with the word, the voice with the choice, the honey with the bunny, and that's our glorious Gainer. Are you there, Gainer? I certainly am, Bobby. Hello, I'm delighted to be here. Oh, what a glorious voice. Glorious Gainer. Hey, how did you feel when you first heard that you were coming on Winner Takes All? First, I was afraid. I was petrified. First I was afraid, I was petrified. I wrote that joke. <laughs> I don't know why I'm owning up to it. Good luck to our contestants as we play. Winner takes all. The rules are quite simple. I'm going to start by giving you 50 points each. You can gamble all those 50 points or just a small percentage of the points depending on how confident you are of answering the questions. So, gambling is what it's all about, not just general knowledge. So good luck to you as we have our first question from lovely Gaynor. Where do fondues originate from? Is it Austria? Germany, Switzerland, Hungary, or Italy? Fondues. Paul, you like your food? Fondues. Where do they originate from? Uh, I think I've got a pretty good idea where they originate okay. How many points are you going to gamble? I'll go for 35 on this. 35 points. And for yourself? Oh, uh, well, I'll follow them. I'll go for 35 as well. OK, Sam, press those buttons and gamble away. <laughs> Well, they both agree to agree, and it's the four to one Switzerland. Switzerland, yes, that's where you'd find your fondue. Well played, a very good start. Can we have question number two, please, Gaynor? A sonnet has how many lines? Is it 12, 8, 10, 14, or 6? A sonnet. That kind of poem, is it? I don't actually know. Um, Samantha. I'll think? go 25. 25, yeah. OK, OK. Paul? I'll chuck in 30. You're going to chuck one. in 30? OK. Bang those buttons and gamble away. 
Well, they've agreed to disagree on this one. Um, Samantha, you've gone for the three to one, and you, Paul, have gone for the two to one. Well, you'd actually find 14 lines oh. in a sonnet. Oh. <laughs> so you were both wrong. Never mind, never mind. As we go to question number three, please, Gaynor. Found in 1905 and now part of the Crown Jewels, what is the name of the largest gem diamond? Is it the Star of India, Moonstone, a girl's best friend, Sparkler, or Cullinan? Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Uh, Happy birthday, <laughs> Mr. President. Well, <laughs> Paul, um, what do you reckon? How many points are you going to go on this one? I think I'm going to go 30 again. The largest gem diamond, 30 points. OK, Samantha? I'm going to go for a whopping five. A whopping five? Hey, <laughs> five la. All right. OK, take those buttons and gamble away. Well, again, you've had a difference of opinion, and, uh, Paul, you've gone for Star of India, and, Samantha, you've gone for Girl's Best Friend. Pretty nice. Well, it would certainly be my best friend, but I'm afraid the right answer is the ten-to-one shot. It's a Cullinan. So wrong again. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Never mind, eh? My wife said to me, she said, uh, it was her birthday, she said, would you smother me in diamonds? Well, I couldn't afford the diamonds, so I just used a pillow and smothered them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no kidding, baby. <laughs> OK, let's have question number four, please, Gaynor. Lanzarote... Gomera and La Palma form what group of islands? Is it Cape Breton Islands, the Canary Islands, Balearic Islands, the Cayman Islands, or Solomon Islands? There we go. Have you had a holiday this year, Paul? Not yet. No? no. OK, no. well, have you ever been to any of these places, Lanzarote? No, unfortunately, the nearest I've been to that is uh, Costa Brava. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Costa Fortune as well, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, how many points are you prepared to gamble on this? I'm going to go 50. You're going to go 50, OK, quietly confident. Samantha? I'm going to go 50 because I've been. Oh, you've been? Hey, have you been? <laughs> have you been? been? All right, then, bang those buttons and gamble away. Well, there was a difference of opinion here, actually, uh, which surprises me. And uh, you, Samantha, have gone for the Canary Islands, and you've gone for the Balearic Islands. Um, so who had the correct answer? Three to one is right. It's the Canary hey. Islands. It's the Canary Islands. Of course it is. Go along to the Canary Islands and pick up a canary. I'm off to the Virgin <laughs> Islands next week. Now then. <laughs> oh, right, I don't have any luck at all. Let's have a look at the scores. Samantha, you've got 310 points. Paul, you have 80 points. You've got a little bit of catching up to do, I'm afraid, Paul. But uh, we'll see what happens after question number five. Thank you, Gaynor. How many tiles are there in a Scrabble game? Are there 80, 100, 120, 125 or 130? Scrabble game, eh? Paul, do you play a bit of Scrabble? No, I don't, unfortunately. <laughs> no, not so good with the old no, Scrabble, then. No, really. Uh, how many points are you prepared to go with you? I suppose you've got to, got to, got to, got to catch it up, didn't yes, you? Yes, I think I'm going to have to go to 50. Hold the fi whole 50 points. OK, Samantha? I'll go... a tactical five. A tactical five. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Which is lovely, isn't she, eh? <laughs> so press those buttons and gamble away. <laughs> Well, you've gone to the five to one, Paul, and Samantha, you've gone to the four to one. Which one of them had the correct answer, if any of them? I'm afraid neither had the correct oh. answer. It's a hundred little tiles. What about that there, little tiles? Well, a nice round of applause for our contestants today, don't you think? <laughs> well played, <laughs> Samantha. You won quite convincingly at 305 <laughs> points. Well played. And, uh, Paul, unfortunately, we have to lose you. But have you enjoyed coming on Winner Takes All? <coughs> yes, I've absolutely We don't go it. away empty-handed. You take a Winner Takes All uh, consolation prize of a compendium of games, not Scrabble, <laughs> and uh, paperweight and a watch. So enjoy yourself. A safe journey home. Yeah. And uh, it's into the second round of Winner Takes All. Yes, another round of Winner Takes All and another set of contestants. And to my left, a young man called Ian Otley. Is that right? From it is, Bobby. Mexborough. That's Where's right. Where's Mexborough? It's near Doncaster, South New Yorkshire. New Doncaster, very nice. Oh, I'll lead a lad, a uh, Yorkshire lad. And it says you're a police civilian. That's right. Is yeah. that right? Are you it in is. plain clothes today? Uh, well, <laughs> you could say that. Oh, you can't get much plainer than that, can you? Look at that shirt. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, it says here, man, upset me, he's a big lad, eh? Born when meat was cheap. You're a James Bond fan. Uh, that's you... right, Mr. Moneypenny. Uh, oh, gosh, you've done some voice and everything. Do a bit more. Do, 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 do a little um, bit more. I love him, that, That's right, Mr. Moneypenny, yes, that's right. Oh, yes, 007. That's right. Well, if you live outside of London, it's 0107. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. It's pretty pleasant, that. Have you seen a new film, a new Bond film? Uh, not yet. The one about no. the cat with eight legs. Octopussy. That... <laughs> <laughs> and it says here, you dream of retiring early and buying a caravan. Is that right? Have oh. you ever had a caravan? No. 
You're going to buy one, though, are you? I'm just going to disappear into the sunset. All right. How much do they cost caravans? Are you inquiring? Uh, no, no. Because I actually did. I thought about buying a caravan. I went down to this old caravan shop. I said, I'd like to buy a caravan. And the bloke said, camper. I said, I'd like to buy a caravan. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the show, Ian. Thank you. And uh, your your um, opponent today is lovely Katie Purcell. Is that right, Katie yes, Purcell? Yes, darling. Oh, she's a little Aussie girl. Like, <laughs> and it says here, are you really from Australia? Yes, I am. It says you're married to Kenny. That's it. Is that right? Yes, Just a darling. Bit, you do a bit of that. She sounds like Naomi does, <laughs> doesn't she? Isn't it spooky? Let's do the let's do the Etna sisters. Hello, Hello possums. <laughs> Isn't it a spooky <laughs> game yeah. show? Got to do the mouth. Gotta... Mm. And this is Madge, Madge, Madge with a badge. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show, Kate. It says here <laughs> that your favourite pet is a kangaroo. You haven't got one, have you? Used to have one. You never had yes. a kangaroo. What's a pet? Little baby Joey. Oh, little baby yeah. Joey. Oh. <laughs> a little baby Joey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you used to take it for a walk or more of a bounce? No, You're just taking the kangaroo for a bounce, aren't you? <laughs> there we go. And it says you eventually want to move back to Australia. Yes. You don't like yes. it over here? I love it here. But you just like want to go back to the farm, you? look well, at the frogs, the, course, and the, the wallabies, the kangaroos. Oh, well, yeah. well, when you go back, will you take neighbours with you, love? <laughs> 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 I'm only joking, all your neighbours fans. You know why they put it on twice a day, don't you? Because you can't believe it the first time. <laughs> now then. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of bouncing, we've got a lovely bouncy voice to hear from, our gainer. Are you um, there, gainer? I am, Bobby. Hello. OK, ready with the questions? I'm ready with the questions. Well, good luck to our contestants. Enjoy yourselves. And remember, 50 points to start with, and uh, just gamble away and uh, take your time and enjoy yourselves. Can we have our first question, please, Gaynor? Perry Mason was a character created by Earl Stanley Gardner. What was his profession? Was it a policeman, a lawyer, a reporter, a private detective, or a forensic scientist? Perry Mason. I remember that. What have you written then, uh, Ian? Uh, well, my wife's a big fan, so I'm going to go for it this time. Go for the full 50. All right. Oh, he's very confident. Gammon, all your points straight away. OK, what about yourself, Kate? If he's going for 50, I've got to go as well. Well, you haven't mm -hmm. got to go. <laughs> didn't, you go before, <laughs> didn't you go before you came on? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 50, 50 points, OK. Mm -hmm. You take the gamble, press those buttons, gamble away. Well, you've agreed to agree on lawyer at 3 to 1. Are they correct? A great start. Yes, they are. Well played. Perry Mason, he wasn't the one in the wheelchair, was he? That was Ironside, wasn't it? Yeah, right. similar sort of thing. OK, Gaynor, have we got the next question? During which era would you find Cretaceous, Jurassic and Triassic periods? Is it Cenozoic, Mesozoic, Paleozoic, Precambrian or Pleistocene? Ah, Pleistocene. My children play with that. <laughs> <laughs> Make little figures out of it, is it? Well, what do you like then with this? This is a very easy question. <laughs> Um, <laughs> as I was there at the time, yeah. I'll go for, um... <laughs> well, some of my jokes were, I know that for sure. Mm, I'll, um, go for 15. 15 mm. points, OK. What about yourself, Ian? Uh, well, as I wasn't there at the time, I'm not quite <laughs> as convinced as Katie. I'll just go for 10. Just for 10, OK. Press those buttons, gamble away, please. Well, they've agreed to agree with Pellia's Paleoz with the four to one shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid it's not Paleozoic, it's Mesozoic, the three to one shot. Of course it is, we all knew that, didn't we? <laughs> Hard luck. Uh, question number three, please, Gaynor. Who had hits with I Shot the Sheriff and Buffalo Soldier? Was it Wham, Average White Band, Bob Marley and the Wailers, Cat Stevens, or Marvin Gaye. I shot the sheriff. <gasps> but I did not shoot the deputy. See, I remember all these things. Not <laughs> half the pop pickers. What do you reckon then, Katie? What do you like on this? Pop um, music. Fifteen again, Bobby. Fifteen again, mm. okay, Ian. I'll go for the full job lot on this one. Full job lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah why not? Then press those buttons, gamble away. <laughs> They've agreed to agree with Bob Marley and the Wheelers. And they're right to agree. Well played. Very well played. Question number four, please, Gaynor. What is the name of France's national holiday? Is it Ember Day, Marseillaise Day, Bastille Day, Sorbonne Day, or Bas Normandy Day? Or Robert Day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, then, Ian? Any chance of chucking an old impression? That's me. Ian. Um, 
I'm the French holiday. Pretty sure I'll go for the 50 again. Oh, oui, oui. OK, OK. Yeah. 50 points? 50 points? I go for 50. 60. You're going for 60? You yeah, can't go, go for 60. <laughs> so the maximum is 50. 50. 50. 50. You're going to go for the maximum yes. 50 points? Mm -hmm. OK, bang your buttons. Gamble away. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, they've agreed to agree with Bastille Day at 4 to 1. France's national holiday is Bastille, Bastille Day. Bastille Day. Well played. Let's have a look at the score, shall we? Ian, you're just ahead with 519. Katie, you're 445, but you can catch up because we've got one last question to go. Question number five, please, go in. Good luck to you. On a bottle of J&B scotch, what does the J&B stand for? Is it Justerini and Brooks, Johnson and Brooks, Jowett and Brooks, Jackson and Brooks, or James and Brooks? Or just blitched. How? Do you like a little tipple, Ian? What do you drink? Um, drink a bit of scotch? Uh, something comfort. Whiskey I'm not so keen on. Yeah, all right then. OK, so what do you reckon of this J&B? I'll just go for 20. Just for 20. OK, and Katie? 20. 20 points? Mm -hmm. OK. Well, bash those buttons, good luck to you, and gamble away. Well, they've agreed to disagree. You've gone up to the 10 to 1, Katie, and Ian, you've gone up to the 2 to 1. Who had the correct answer? Justerini and Brooks is what J&B stands for. Well played, Ian. Well played. Let's have a look at the scores, Ian. You, yes, you've um, won quite comfortably there with 630 points. Well done. And Katie, sadly, you didn't quite pit Ian, but you've had a good time, haven't you? I have indeed. And Thank you. And you're going to go all the way back to Australia with our winner-takes-all consolation prizes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, of a companion in Games Watch and Paperweight. Spooky. So it's lovely to have you on the show. Give my love to Oz and uh, go and feed the kangaroo as we go to the final in a few moments with Ian and uh, winner-takes-all coming up after the break. See you in a minute. Well played, Ian. <laughs> Yes, hello and welcome back to our final of today's Winner Takes All. The final between lovely Samantha here on my right and Ian. Samantha, um, tell me a little bit. Someone told me that you wanted to be a presenter. On... Yeah, an MTV presenter because I um, get paid for smiling, talking rubbish and wearing pretty frocks all day. Really? <laughs> well, I've been getting away with that for years. <laughs> <laughs> the pretty frocks especially. <laughs> now then, Ian. <laughs> Ian, um, I, someone told me that you're a big football fan and you visited all the grounds in the league. Is that right? In all of the leagues? That's right, yeah. Every single one? Every single one. And what team do you support? Doncaster Rovers. Doncaster Rovers. Have they got a nice ground? They've got a ground. <laughs> There's only one thing wrong with it. The seats face the pitch. <laughs> Come on, you Rovers. All right, then. Well, good luck in the final. Let's hear from Gaynor now what you can win on Winner Takes All. Win once and you'll never have to miss your favourite programmes as you'll be taking away a fabulous pocket television. Two wins and you'll hold the world in your hands with this palm top pocket computer. Just right to organise those busy schedules. Three shows and it's time to polish up your French as you enjoy a three night break in Gay Paris. And if you win four times, then chill out and tune in. Imagine winner takes all in 28 inch glory with this state of the art NICAM Teletext TV. But for the ultimate win of five shows, it's Las Vegas, here we come. Fly to the gambling capital of the world, see the shows, cast the dice, and let luck be a lady on the holiday of a lifetime. What about that? Some fabulous prizes. <laughs> it's better than Sound of the Century. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good old checkers. Good luck to you both in our final. And uh, the rules apply the same. You have 50 points to start with. Gamble well. And good luck to you both as we have our first question. Thank you, Gaynor. Lumbago produces pain in which part of the body? Is it the arm, lungs, back, feet, or ears? There we go. Lumbago. Something I've never suffered from, fortunately. Mm. Samantha? 15. 15. 15 points. OK. Ian? Um, pretty sure. I'll go for 35. 35. OK. Good luck to you both. Bang those buttons and gamble away. <laughs> Let's have a look. Well, you both agree to agree with back at 4 to 1. Yes, you certainly would have a bad back if you suffered from one day. You certainly would. <laughs> we don't want that, do we? Hey, we don't want that there, do we? Hey. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two, please, Gaynor. What is pilotta? Is it a dinghy, pasta, a potato dish, a ball game, or herb bread? Pilotta, pilotta. Sounds very glamorous. Ian. Pilotta. Um, what is pilotta? We want to know what is pilotta. I'll stick with the 35 again. Stick with 35, playing it safe. I'll Sam? go for 20. For 20, OK. Not so sure. Never mind. There's a long way to go. Let's have a go at this as we bang our buttons and gabble away. 
Well, you've agreed to agree with ball game. Well, they're both certainly on the ball. It is a ball game. Oh, marvellous. <laughs> Dana, is that the one where you throw the balls at the little ball that we all play at the seaside? I don't know, Bobby. <laughs> uh, oh, that's bowls, is it? Or cricket or something. There you go. OK. <laughs> we shall never know what it is, but it's a game. Um, can we have question number three, please, Gaynor? In what year was the post office founded between England and Scotland? Was it 1801, 1746, 1874, 1635 or 1698? What year was the post office founded between England and Scotland? Ian? Well, I'm absolutely certain of this one, so I'll go for five. You're certain of this one? <laughs> and five. That's what I call a gambling man. OK, what about you, Sam? But I'm going to try and catch up and go for 35. 35. Yeah. OK, well, good luck to you both. Okay. Smack those knobs and gamble away. <laughs> well, they've agreed to agree at 1874. <laughs> Well, I'm afraid they're a little out. It is, in fact, 1635. 1635. Well, that's marvellous, isn't it? There's people queuing at that post office even now. <laughs> <laughs> Going around there like that thing. Have you ever seen them do that? You have to go round and round that. OK, question number four, please, Gaynor. Which author was the son of a butcher and wrote Moll Flanders? Was it Somerset Maughan, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Jonathan Swift, Anthony Trollope or Daniel Defoe? Ah, Ian. Yeah, I'm not very good on authors. I'll just go for 20. Just going to go for 20. Uh, Samantha? Oh, I'm losing badly, so I'll go for 30. For 30. Yeah. All right, then. OK, smack those knobs. Gamble away. <laughs> well, they've agreed to disagree here. And, uh, Ian, you've gone for Somerset Morn, And, Sam, you've gone for Anthony Trollope. <laughs> What a name, Trollope. Who was right? Maul Flanders was written by Daniel Defoe. Oh, neither of them are right. Oh, never mind, never mind. Well, let's have a look at the scores before we have our final question. Ian, you're ahead with 340 points, and Samantha, you've got 145. But it all, uh, it all comes down to the last question. Good luck to you both. Uh, question number five, please, Gaynor. Originally called Princess Sophia Augusta of anhalt zerbst she's better known as Catherine the Great, Catherine of Aragon, Catherine Braganza, Catherine de' Medici or St. Catherine of Siena? Ah, which Catherine is it? Ian, how many points? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll just go for 20 on this one. Just for 20 points, OK. I'll Samantha? go the full 50. Got to go full yeah. 50, really catch up. OK, yeah. bang those buttons for the final time and gamble away. <laughs> well, again, the difference of opinion. Catherine of Aragon for Samantha and Catherine the Great for Ian. Princess Sophia Augusta was better known as Catherine the Great. Well played, Ian! Looking at the scores, Ian, you have 380, and Samantha, sadly, you didn't quite get there with no. 95 points. You had a good time? I have, yes. Hey, you don't go away empty handed. No, <laughs> no, you don't. You take away a winner takes all. Sounded like Chegg would again it. You take away a winner takes all. Compendium of games, a paperweight, and a wristwatch. Back to Liverpool. Give my love to the Scousers up there. Well done. And Ian, congratulations. You won yep. our first game today. You win a pocket television. Got a pocket, pocket TV? I have, actually. You have. <laughs> so, do you want to consider a gamble here? Do you want to take the TV, or do you want to come back tomorrow and try for the uh, laptop computer, the palm top computer? Nothing ventured, nothing gain. I'll go for it. You're going to go for it. That's will, what it's yeah. all about on Winner Takes All. So, see you next time on Winner Takes All. Hey, with Ian. <laughs> Never mind, Sam. Hey.